For more than a century, polo players from around the globe have tried to write their names on this cup, yet only a few have had the honor. Their names are embossed in silver for eternity and uphold the enduring heritage of polo for generations to come. It doesn't get any better than this, the most prestigious trophy in all of North American polo on the line today. It's that time of year again, where dynasties rise and fall and legends are made. Nine teams will battle for the most prestigious trophy in all of American polo. Some will look to continue their legacy and others will try to create one. Watch as these modern day gladiators fight to carve out their place in history. Welcome to the 2024 US Open Polo Championship. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the USPA Polo Network. We are here for the fourth round action of the 2024 US Open Polo Championship. Today's game is gonna be held on field number six of the National Polo Center here in Wellington, Florida. We've got Tamara taking on Pilot in a matchup that's going to have some huge implications uh, for the semifinals here. I'm Toby Wayman, joined with me as always, Cody Offen. Here we go, Cody. Thank you, Toby. Beautiful morning for Polo. And like you said, only two games left in group play, still two semifinal spots available. Pilot hold their own fate in their hands. With a win today, they could advance. They're two and one right now after a seven six win over the Dudacorp their last time out. And again, semifinal spot guaranteed with a win here against Tamara. In that Dudacorp game, Facundo Pires scored five of seven goals, added an assist, and he had a game high four throw-ins one. This team scores just over four penalty goals per game, shooting about 80% from the penalty line, and 18 shot attempts per game is third best in the gauntlet. And again, if they lose today, they'll need some other stuff to happen to get to a shootout. We'll go through all of that, Toby, but Tamara, they need a win here today as well. Yeah, and they won their their last week's feature game, 12-11, in a pretty exciting match over LaFay. Uh, that marks their fourth win of the year over LaFay. Matias torres Evaletta, he scored 29 goals with six assists and 50 throw-ins won so far in the gauntlet. His first time with Tamara. Now, Diego Cavanaugh, Segundo Soravi, remain out on the injured reserve list uh, for the Tamara lineup here. They got Mackie Wise and Lorene Zubiari returning for their second game. Wise Zubiari combined for five goals uh, in that victory, uh, playing really well for as the replacements for the uh, for the injured players. Key stats here: they win 12 throw-ins uh, per game, third most in the gauntlet. And now let's check out our rosters, starting with Tamara and Alejandro Palma playing one, Mackie Wise two, Mati. Zavaleta number three, and then Lorene Zubiari playing the number four position. And then for Pilot, we're going to have Curtis Pilot, number one slot. Number two, Antonio Hagee, number three, Santi Torres. And playing the number four position today is Facundo Pierce, one of the best players in the world. And in the saddle, we're going to have Steve Dalton and Julian King, Julian Appleby. Third man is going to be Gaston Lucero. And let's check out this uh, player feature we put together here of Matias Torres Zavaleta in that win over the day. Again, he scored five goals and two assists in this win over LaFay. Nine throw-ins, one as well. The third highest single game thrown amount of the season, tied with effort by Adolfo and Peroto Cambiasso. We knew Mati was going to have to perform well to earn that victory. He responded with his best individual performance of the season in that game against LaFay. And Toby, they're going to have to have an even better performance here against a tough pilot team. Like you said, Facundo Pira is one of the best in the world on any given day. He can beat anybody on the planet. That's the truth. All right, here we go. Balls and play games underway. It's going to be uh, a shot over to the center here. Picked up. Oh, nope. Monty couldn't get to it. Now it's going to be taken back around by Antonio Hagee. Antonio gets the ball turned back. Facundo on uh, Diablita there again for the, like you had the same last his last game. Now he's going to turn this one back to the inside. Keeps it moving on down here. Takes off to the run, looking good. Coming in, Palma trying to get to him, but Facundo is cooking. He's still got another gear if he needs it. You can tell right here. He's going to go ahead and fire back at the goal. Look at the shot. Torres waits for it to catch up to him. Picked off, though, by Torres Zavaleta. And now it's going to be a near side. No. Oh, nice try by Torres. But it's over the back line wide, so we'll have our first knock of the day going in favor of Tamara. 
And I thought Santi Torres probably had his, his best game of the season. Just seems this pilot team has gotten better every game out. Yeah, they're definitely peaking here in the U.S. Open for sure. You know, great effort here from Torres. He knows he's getting pushed back in there by Mati Torres with Zubiari coming down the line. We do have a quick whistle here. Umpire timeout at the moment. Missing out. Oh, missing the flagger. Mackey brings the ball into play. Uh-oh, that's not going to be a good one there. Facundo gets to it quickly, but doesn't connect on his back shot the way he wants. Interesting play right there. I would have thought he'd have done something different there, but nevertheless, it'll be picked up now. It's going to be Mackey Wise taking off with this ball right here. McKenzie. Mackey sends it off to the right. Coming in, it's going to be picked up now by Lorene Zubiari. Zubiari drops the ball back here to Matias Torres Zavaleta. Zavaleta back to the inside. Zavaleta takes off running down the right. Mati Zavaleta goes ahead. He sends this ball back down the right hand side. He's going to find Zubiari coming in hot to try to get there. Zubiari gets some. Uh, Facundo got there. What a steal away from Mackey and takes off with the ball across the gold mouth. Mackey comes in to check, keep the pressure on. I'm very excited for Mackey that he got this opportunity to come play in the open here. Super talented young player. Facundo going to take off to the left. Breaks away from those players now. Looking over his shoulder to see where his players are. Facundo's going to keep it to himself. He's got Torres brocking up, going for, to be a target here. He can't connect. Zubiari's going to give it right back to him. No, he's not. He's going to be able to win the ride off. Hit the back shot. Open style for Mackey. McKenzie. Near side next shot. Doesn't connect. And Facundo drops back on it. Pushes that ball off to the right of the def Oh, tough break right there. It looks like it went off of Zubiari's. No, no, they're going to say it's off of Facundo last. Yeah, I think he was pointing at. I think he was pointing at. Wanting a foul, perhaps. Yeah, saying but shading there, but possession here for Tamara. Okay. Mackenzie Weiss, of course, played with this pilot organization a little bit, and whoa, what a goal right there, Toby! Whoa. Excuse me. I was looking over my shoulder, looking down on my paper, right when he said, I "Glanced down, and, <laughs> and it was, and it was gone." As I was saying, Mackenzie, Mackenzie Weiss. Well, we'll take another look at it here in just a second. From the possession play, one tap, and Mackie just fires at the wow, goal. Wow, look at that. And again, the field's playing fast. You're going to get a lot of roll there, and Mackie reads it perfectly. What a shot by Mackenzie. Mackie Weiss. Really again, well done. Played with this pilot organization for a hot minute, and of course, Matthew Torres, her last couple of seasons here in the gauntlet was a member of this pilot team. So a lot of familiarity between these two teams. Well, let's see. Look at this shot from Facundo. And he sends it on through and ties the game up. One goal apiece. Very nicely done. Set of aces on the board now. A quick answer there from Facundo. Anything you can do, I can do better. <laughs> yeah, really, right? Picks it up quickly. Wasting no time. What a shot there from outside of the 60. Let's see. Uh, that's that Tim, Timbera horse. Oh, he's changed now. But Zubiari, uh, 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 um, Matias Torres, Evaletta. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. Mackie and Santi. Santi gives Mackie his mallet back. Now, going back to the left, Antonio Hagee trying to get in there to make a defensive play. He's going to check, come back around now. Picked up here. It's going to be... Oh, uh, let's see. Here it comes. Oh, well done. Mackey shuts it down. Leaves it for Zubiari, who turns back to the left. Facundo comes in, gets a hold of him there. They're making contact. Now he pushes it forward, forcing Facundo out of his way. He's going to go ahead and send this ball to the center here, looking for Mackey to hit an open back shot. Mackey drains it and gets another point on the board. 2-1 now the score. All right, Mackey coming to play early here. What a play again. Mackey Weiss giving Tamara the lead right back. Good start to this game. Take a look here. Zubiari, very smart play. Sends the pass forward. Great assist there from Loreen and Mackey. A little open back shot finish. All right, here comes Facundo. Takes off running with that ball. 
There goes Antonio Hage to be a target for Facundo. Facundo taps. Oh, doesn't connect. Mackey was able to get the hook made. And now it's picked up right here. Torres. Torres, he's not going to miss this one. Watch this goal from Torres. He's going to get there. Runs around the outside of the defender. Torres with a neck shot. Belly shot. He sends it on through. What a goal. Santi's on point today. K. Hugador. And we're back to a two-goal ball game here. I should say two to two on the board here in Chucker number one. Trading goals early on. Santi Torres. Great play. Great finish. He'll have to avoid the hook here from Mackie Weiss. Gets away from him. Turns the corner, little belly shot, finish there from Santi Torres. Back to the center once again, uh, taking advantage of having the offensive side, offensive side of the throw, and this time it's going to be Lorenzo Iari. He sends it down the right. Coming in, Facundo is there. Oh, Facundo wants a whistle. Yes, he doesn't find Well, yeah, he does now. This is old. This is, oh, I'll show you the new one. This is. Okundo yeah. right here. Now Facundo takes off with the ball right here. Facundo leaves it there for Antonio. They tell Lorene to clear out of the way. Facundo winds up, fires back from left to right. Oh, horse kicks that ball. Tough break there for her. Pilot now picked up here by Zuvia Biari. He gets away from Facundo as it's going to be Santi Torres trying to keep the pressure on Zuviari. Zuviari keeps the pressure on now. He's going to hit the near side back shot here. Facundo read the play perfectly, gets to the near side tail shot, picks it up. He's already in range should he choose to shoot from there. Pump fake thought about it. Now decides to look for a place to go here. Facundo is going to go ahead and fire at the goal from there. Looking good. This one, Facundo is going to drain it right here. Look at the shot. What a goal. Facundo breaks the tie, takes the lead, and wins the chucker for his team. 3 2 the score as we will head back to the trailers. After this replay here, real quick, we'll... Another shot from distance. This one even better than his first. What a shot there from Facundo. Everybody dialed in early here, Toby. Great game. We'll be right back after this quick break here on the USP Pro Network. All in line and ready for the start. There is a moment in every horse race Lockdown! when expectation spins into realization. Oh, way to go to a perfect start. But no one's going to catch your horse. Unbelievable! And they're into the stretch! And you probably also thought to yourself, wouldn't it be even what better if I could way. truly call that racehorse my own? Wicked Strong wins it, going away! Well, why couldn't you? We got into Wellington, Florida market because of the number of horses were there. So we decided that we should also sell the hay there. And uh, we met some of the polo people there and um, we've become very friendly with the polo community because the, uh, they require such a, a great quality hay and which is what we want to provide. Welcome back, everyone, to the USB Polo Network. Getting ready to start chucker number two. Got Facundo right here on the Mega Alamano horse. But before we get any more deeper, let's go ahead and check out the uh, standings that we have here, Cody. 
We'll take a look at the standings again. Some different implications here today. If Pilot wins, they advance to the semifinals with a three and one record. Tamara would be out, and then Park Place would need a win to avoid a shootout with Coca Cola. If Tamara wins, there'll be a shootout between Tamara, Pilot, Coke, and possibly Park Place. Again, depending on what happens in our next game, Park Place taking on La Dolphina, who already have a spot guaranteed in the semifinals, along with Valiente. I think they're one and two at this point, aren't they? Um, Who? The La Dolphina and Valiente. Yes, yes. Yeah. Number, ranked number one and two. Yeah, that's what I meant. Respectively, yeah. La Dolphina, <laughs> tentatively in first. If with a win today, La Dolphina would go four and zero oh and secure that number one spot. But again, we redraw for semifinal opponents. Yeah. So you got three of Facundo's horses on the field right now. You've got. Uh, Alamana there that he's on. Looks like we've got uh, uh, Santi Torres on Twitter. And Caballero I just saw there for uh, for Antonio. So all three of these horses are out of Facundo's string. Knew he had to pass some horses around, you know, to get further deeper into this tournament. Picked up right here, taking it back around to the outside. It's going to be Lorraine Zubiari. I think that's pause, if I'm not mistaken, here for him. Funny. I'll tell you just a second here. It's yeah, No, no, that's public health. Takes a shot right up here, and it's going to be Ali Palma to come in here. Ali Palma is going to go ahead and pop it on through. Well done, Alejandro. Palma ties the game up at three goals apiece. As we come back to center for another throw-in. Ton of offense early in this one, Toby. Great pace to this game. Palma getting himself on the scoreboard. Tie game once again. Take a look. Zubiari leaves it here for Mati Torres. Good little neck shot pass. Half shot, half pass. Palma right there in the perfect spot to pick it up Mati Torres coming out here progressiva this is one of his really good horses that he got from Facundo so if I'm not mistaken I think this one actually I'm not sure if this one was one of the ones that came from Facundo or not but he got I believe so I think I thought it was too yeah There's a couple a, years ago it's back, like four or five Facundo horses there on the is field exactly right of his own personal horses <laughs> yeah all right here comes Torres jumps on it right here on Twitter now Antonio right there Cavalera, he's going to come back, gives that ball right back over to Santi Torres. Torres takes off running right here to try to keep it away from Mackey. Coming back now, it's going to be Lorene Zubiari to turn the ball back around. Lorene. Now, Mackey told me that this is a Millenaria Milenar that he's on here in the second chucker right now. Starting off anyway. Now Facundo calls off. Antonio winds up, shoots the goal from outside the 60 it's rolling 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 not enough on it though and it's going to be picked up here and taken by torres zavaleta mackie or Ma uh, matias mati with control of that ball matias torres zavaleta with facundo in pursuit former teammates playing against each other today remember they played together last year now here he goes matias torres and facundo play together that's what i was trying to say he gets past midfield look at this he's cooking down the field going to be picked up here now by mckenzie wise actually it was now, Mackey turns it back around to the outside. It's, oh, no way. What a steal here by Antonio. But, whoa. I think his horse just tripped, though. I don't think there was anything on it. Now it's going to be Lorraine Zubiari to turn it back around and keep the pressure on right here. Zubiari, pump fake, holds the ball. He's got Palma going forward. Antonio tries to make a play on that dead ball, and he'll leave it now for Zavaleta. Zavaleta back to the inside. Now, Zavaleta. Gets it stolen back away, and first one to it's going to be Zubiari, and he's got Mackey there to hold off Facundo. He'll stay with Facundo and hits the ball back up there where it's picked off, though, by Torres. Santi. Oh, going to get a whistle here. Bad luck there for Palma. Likely see a wholesale change of horses here again. I'm sure Twitter Good will pace. come back later on. Do the second chucker, just the first whistle, I think, here in the second chucker. We see Torres jumping off of Twitter. As we see this one more time, you'll see Palma Santi with control. I think Palma was just focused in on making that hook and didn't realize that Santi was going to turn back quite so sharp there and ends up riding in from behind. Okay. Facundo 
Brings the ball back into play. Penalty five right here. And now it's going to be a shot from Antonio Hege all the way down, packed towards the goal. It's off to the left and over the back line wide. So we'll get our first, second Tamara knocking of the game, first of the chucker. Umpire Dalton counting down as Matias Torres brings the ball into play. Now, Mati hits it over to, uh-oh, another broken knock-in right here, but it's going to be good enough to, for uh, Mackie to keep it away from Facundo. Then he wants to hit it to the left. Can't do so because Facundo cut him off. Now Facundo rides straight forward, but it's going to be a nice hook there by Facundo Pierce. He's going to take this one back around. Goes ahead, goes to run it past. Mackie couldn't get it done. Now he's got Antonio on the ball. Antonio holding that ball, waiting for some help from Facundo. Now, stolen here by Facundo gets it. No, nope, he loses the play, and it's going to be Zubiari back on the ball. Lorene sends it up here, and Antonio, once again, will jump on it. going to take it with him across to the left. Now he waits for Mat Matias Torres to come to him. Turns the ball all the way back to the inside. Here comes the next shot from Antonio to Facundo. Facundo one time hits it past. Lorene Zubiari goes ahead, pulls away from him. Only just has to outrun him at 52 inches. He gets it done. He fires at the goal and drains it. Well done. What a goal right here for Facundo Pierce, his third of the game. Jumped on to Katia here, and he hasn't missed yet, has he? Facundo dialed in early. There might be a question, maybe an umpire trigger here. Let's take a look at the replay. No, they're riding back to center now. Facundo saying, no, guys, that was in. Ooh. Tough to tell from that angle. But no question here. Umpires confirm it's in for the score. Okay. Ball's back in. It's going to be Facundo to bust out of there with control. Facundo working it down. Looking good. Now, oh my goodness. Now he's going to drop it back right here. And it's going to be picked up by, uh, let's see, <clears throat> Loreen Zubiari. Zubiari turns it all the way back around to the outside. Loreen. With control of the ball, Zubiari drops it back now. Torres Zavaleta takes it forward again. Well done, Matias. Monty with that ball. He's got some good protection from those teammates. Now Facundo comes in to put him in the pocket. He's going to release the ball away from the Facundo. Very smart play. Sends it. Man, what a shot from Zavaleta coming in. Palma's trying to get to it, but it's going to be Antonio Hege. Well tried, Palma. Now Antonio back on it. Hege back to the inside. Leaves it now. Facundo goes ahead and hits it back to the right-hand side. Let's see. Here it goes. Mackey. Oh, what a play. McKenzie. Mackey wise. Again, back to the inside, trying to keep it away from Torres. He'll now leave that ball for Zubiari. Loreen winds up and slaps it back towards the goal. Can Mackey get there? I don't think he's going to be able to get past Facundo on this one. Facundo hits the near side back shot, open style. Right over there for Antonio Hege. Hege with the tail shot, open back shot, tail. Right here, too. Facundo, who hits it hard, back down the field. They're looking for Torres, who's out in front. Mackey trying to catch him. Torres avoids the hook. His shot back towards the center. Torres, what a pickup right here. Santi Torres. Well done. Great place to leave that ball in. Back shot, though. First one to get to it is going to be Antonio. Hey, he gets there. Turns the ball quickly. 30 seconds remain here in chucker number two. Hey, hey. oh. Facundo is going to wind up. He might have been outside that criteria right there. What a goal by Facundo. He sends it on through. They won a, a, a whistle on that, but I don't think there was. He's outside of two horse links, and Antonio was moving there. So I think it's a great non-call in my opinion. What do yeah, you think? Yeah, I thought both players were, were moving here. Well, not really there. Maybe it was a little bit closer than I thought. Ah, that could have been. Regardless, good it pick is a up goal. here from Faku, and he drills it. Beautiful I think goal. He's four for four shooting from the field right now. What a play there to end the chucker. All right, that'll do it. We'll be back to start the last chucker of the first half in just a moment here on the USB Polo Network. Equine Clinic, we know your horse is not only a superior athlete, but a part of your family. With more than 30 veterinarians, four board certified surgeons, and the most technologically advanced equine imaging suite in the country, our team has all the skill sets required for accurate diagnosis and successful treatment. 
Palm Beach Equine Clinic is committed to providing exceptional service and care for both patients and owners. Visit equineclinic.com today to make us a part of your team. The National Polo Center U.S. Polo ASSN Field 1 is where the oldest and most prestigious tournaments are played. Field 1 is, is something special with the grandstand over there. It's, it's a dream. Generations of athletes, enthusiasts, and visionaries have left their mark on this field, shaping it into a symbol of excellence. That could be good. He's going to get there. Jack Whitman's going to win the game. He gets it done. It's the majors for polo, at least for us here in the U.S. The highs are high and the lows are lows. Honestly, it's hard to describe. I cannot imagine what it will be to be on the field. It is the field that all of these women, myself included, strive to play on. If you're there, that means that you're playing a final. And the final is a different game. As the sun sets over the premier polo field in North America, we are reminded that this is more than a sport. It's a celebration of heritage. Join us in Wellington, Florida, and be a part of polo history at the National Polo Center, U.S. Polo ASSN Field 1. All right. Welcome back, everyone, to the USP Apollo Network. Getting ready to start chucker number three, last chucker of the first half. Looks like Bakunda's back on exclusivity here of his own. Um, Cody, give us an update. Well, remember, five games today on the network right now happening. D1 Women's National Intercollegiate Championship Final. You can live stream that along with this one. Get your other device out. UVA playing Texas A&M, UVA University of Virginia. They're up 5-3 currently here in the second chucker. Under two minutes to play in that one. And again, later on in the men's D1 National Intercollegiate Final, we'll see the defending champs, UNT University of North Texas, take on SMU, Southern Methodist University. The Mustangs, all Texas showdown there in the men's side. Fantastic. It Cody, that's this that's the that's stallion the stud, right there. Yeah, the sensational, right? Yeah. Sensation. Sensation sensational. As you say in American. <laughs> haven't, we haven't seen Corcha or Espia no, yet. No, not so yet. Now imagine we'll see one of them this chucker. They've got him. Yeah, he's using them as spares today and as a and as a ranker too. Now, Bakundo, open back shot. Gonna be picked off right nope. I think that's uh Masai there that Lorene is on. And now it's gonna be Looking for this one here. It's going to be Mackie Wise still with control of that ball. Now, this is 40 Luz, L U Z Luz, that uh, Mackie is on. These are, these are uh, I believe, um, all of, of uh, Saravi's horses. And I don't know his horses as well. But nevertheless, this is what I was given for. Mackie gave me right before the game. Um, now, right here. Oh, it's going to be a shot at the goal from right to left from Zubiari. It's off past the goal mouth, and now it'll be picked up here by Facundo. Here's he's going to turn that ball. Wow, dangerous play there along the back line, but Facundo, with ultimate confidence in himself, is able to get it done and turn it back around, take it down the right-hand side of the field. Now Facundo shutting down right here. He's going to swing over, look for a place to go. Now he catches the pick right there as he's going to move back to the center, winds up, and sends the ball. Pass midfield in front of Antonio Hege. Hege reaches out, can't keep it alive, and it's picked up again right here by Matias Torres. Zavaleta, he's got Zubiari breaking, and he's got Palma coming in here. Thought about laying a pick for him. Going to have to hit away sooner or else. They'll blow a delay on him. He's going to hit this one over to Palma on the left. Now, Alejandro Palma winds up, pounds it forward right here, where it's going to be Mackie Wise. Great play by Wise. 
He sees he's got, Facundo's got the leg on him. He'll have him beat if he doesn't keep that ball under control. Now he hits a neck shot at the goal. Nice try from Wise, but it's over the back line wide. So we'll have our, is it our first knock-in for Pilot? Did I miss one somewhere? It is the first knock-in for Pilot here today. Okay. Just the third overall. Gotta love that. And limited whistles, not a lot of misses by either team. It's been a really good offensive wide open game here. Okay. Ooh, broken knock in here. You won't see that too often. Facundo just kind of miss hits this one short, gives Zubiari an opportunity. And we'll have to wait and see here what the umpires decide. Take another look here. Watch Facundo just miss hits it short. Kind of in two minds there. Zubiari comes in on the near side, then Ooh. leaves it, and then he runs into Torres. This could be an interesting yeah, write-off or interesting uh, call. Pilot will get a little lucky here after that broken knock-in. The foul right will go that. against Zubiari. Just a little bit of miscommunication there between teammates. Very, very lucky. Yeah, because with Zubi, well, with Sarab, uh, 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 Lorene's attention focused on the ball, right, and being the first defender there. But there again, you know, you've got. Uh, Santi's not doing anything wrong. He's not in, the, in a bad place. No, or you'll see right Lorene sees his teammate on the offside meeting it. And by the time yeah. he looks up, he's got nowhere to go. Torres. Good call, umpires. Him. Yeah, easy call. Here comes the shot from Facundo back down. Open back shot right here from uh, Torres Zavaleta. Now it's going to be Facundo here to win this right off with, here with Lorene. Zubiari. Now, Facundo turns it back, man, look at that, on the near side, then comes back. All right, welcome back. Uh, we just had a, a bit of a, a spill there. It looked like Zubiari went over the handlebars. He's up. He's okay. Horse is okay. <laughs> I didn't see it. I think we can show everybody at home. Yeah, here we go. Watch one more time. Again, bit of an innocent play here. He's going to get over to the boards. Horse is going to... Oh! oh. And down. <laughs> right back up to his feet, though, quickly. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yep, been there before. Okay, Facundo takes off with it right here. Facundo winds up, shoots at the goal. Look at this. It's going to go just wide over the back line to the left. We get lucky break there for Tamara. The score remains a two-goal ball game here, 5-3 the score. We'll have a Tamara knocking. Really the first mistake, if you want to call it that, from Facundo. First shot attempt missed, I believe. He's already scored four goals from the field. Okay. Uh, here comes the, the, shot, the shot over to the right-hand side here for Matias. He hit it. Mackie might have hit this one too hard, too far. No, it looks like it will be Torres Zevala to get onto it. That worked out well for him now.
Okay, welcome back, everyone, to the USP Polo Network. We just had kind of a, a weird play happen there. Um, Santi Torres is, is uh, taking a little a little injury time out right now. Um, it was it was kind of a strange play. He was he was going forward and and uh, kind of he cut in front of a of a, a a Tamara player, and it didn't look like they made any contact. But his horse kind of stumbled and just and she just kind of fell down for a second there. But it wasn't his front legs or anything like that. If anything, the the the, the back end of Santi's horse might have clipped the front end of of one of the blue players' horses. But the player and the horse in front was the one that, that tripped and fell on her front end. So it was a really strange play. She seems to be okay. Yeah, horse is fine. I believe Santi's back on his feet. Like you said, that he'll be checked out here. Oh, okay. So, it's, okay, we're getting uh, uh, information here, Cody. It says uh, front shoe of front horse you fell off yeah, we just may saw have caused the horse trip. That makes more sense. Okay, yeah. There's she might have, She might have reached up and grabbed that, that shoe with her back foot and mm -hmm. tripped herself like that. That makes a lot more sense then. Okay. And she jerked it off. So you think about that, folks. You think about it like if you've got your shoes untied, you know, and if you, you step on your shoe Give lace, yourself a flat tire. Basically, yeah. So that's basically what we just saw here. Or if you've done like me and uh, tripped yourself with your spurs, which is super embarrassing, and I've done that more than <laughs> once, I might add. I'm falling flat on my face. <laughs> so we're going to let Santi get uh, mounted back up and get him. Yeah, there he goes. Let's see. Yeah, there's so Torres. He looks like he'll be okay to continue. I at this time he's pretty tough i saw him a couple of days ago at a at a little cafe here in wellington and uh you know he said yeah we, he's like you know we're looking forward to this next game he's like it all comes down to that he said you know gonna be a tough game but we're we're looking forward to it we're ready so let's see oh cool looks like facundo got onto chablis chablis Okay. And as you mentioned, Espia Corcha, who he predominantly plays as spare horses, we haven't seen either yet here in the first half, so keep an eye. For Mega Espia and Corcha for Facundo Pires. And Azarenka. Azarenka Don't forget Azarenka. As well. I mean, it's an awesome horse. Okay. Mackie. I think Mackey could be on some of his own today as well. Probably a combo. I thought about it too. With some time now. After the injury to Segundo Saravi, remember Segundo Saravi and Diego Cavanaugh both on the IL. Segundo is a wrist injury. Diego, I think, an arm injury as well. Uh, yeah, Diego actually tore a. He told me he tore a. Uh, what did he say? He tore a muscle, I think, in his in his arms. What it was. Well, I can update you guys as well. About three and a half minutes before halftime, tie ball game at the D1 Women's National Intercollegiate Championship Final from the University of Virginia. UVA has some home field advantage, some home arena, some home dirt advantage, I should say. Mm. And yeah, six six the score right now between UVA and Texas A and M University. Yeah, but we've got we've got the whole Tamara team waiting here for the the play. But the other, it looks like it looks like Pilot's gone back to the Planky's there. So I, I'm not sure if maybe we'll um, maybe we'll cut to a break for a minute here until we can figure out get some more information for you. And, and yeah, so just stay with us. We'll be right back after this quick break here on the USP Polo Network. Spokane. It's an equine mecca, really. Historically, Spokane has been known for producing some fantastic horses. If you're a professional and you're trying to make green horses, there's opportunities for them to get started. You know, green horse truckers, facilities, world-class field. 
It's just the perfect environment to produce a well-trained, competitive polo pony. My name is Cheryl Sick. I am the Pacific Northwest Circuit Governor. It's great because we've got a lot of teams, a lot of competition. You know, there's opportunities to get into local and medium gold tournaments. Spokane kind of offers all of those things at a very affordable price. We are a fantastic summer location, excellent fishing, hiking, mountain biking, ATV. You can play a practice in the morning and then head to the lake and wakeboard all afternoon. All the while just being five minutes from downtown Spokane. Come out, bring your horses, bring your stock saddles, and uh, we'll have a hit around. Okay, here we go. So we'll have a hit here. I think it's a fair play. Yep, free, fair play, free hit here for Tamara. Coming in right now, it's going to be Antonio to escort the ball over the back line. And we'll have a knock in now for Facundo and for Pilot. Let's see. This is going to be their third knock in so far here today. Facundo brings the ball into play. Now, oh, Facundo keeps it alive right there. Takes off with it. Now gets away from Lorene Zubiari, who keeps the pressure on. He's going to drop it right back here to Antonio Hagee. Hagee comes in. He's going to go ahead and hit a shot off to the right hand side. Not a lot of angle right here, but it's good enough to get it back over to Facundo, who's going to go ahead and fire that ball back towards the goal and then try to use horsepower here to get away from those defenders. But a great job there by, by Palma to take out the man and let Mackie have control of the ball. Mackie working it back. He's got Facundo there to keep the pressure on. McKenzie Wise looking to cut and dive. And then leaves it here for Torres. Well done. Lareen holds up Facundo. Here goes Torres Zavaleta trying to run past the man. Well done. Now back shot here from good play, Facundo. Well done. Goes to the man, then takes the ball, then takes off running right here. Facundo working it back around from right to left. He fires that ball back over there where he's got Antonio by himself on a straight break right here. Antonio Hagee. Oh, man. Let's get away from him here. Antonio. Put it over the back line wide. Tough break there for Peggy and Pilot. Camaro will have the knock in. Okay. Is it fan? Okay. Here we go. The ball's back into play. And it was hit too straight, too far. It is going to be a back shot here by Antonio Hagee. Facundo comes in to try to get a hold of that ball. Man, it looks like uh, Matias Torres got hooked by the boards there for a second. And now we'll get a possession play. No. No, I think right it away. Yeah, we're... Right away violation here going against uh, Matias Torres is what we're getting here from the field. Take another look. Here comes... Matty, yeah, tough play against the boards and comes ah, back to it on the near side. Could have been meeting on the near side, too. So penalty four upcoming here for Pilot. First goal shot penalty of the day. Gotta love that. Is that a four? Yeah. We're kind of looking for a decent T. But on this back field here, like we've been talking about, they're super fast. So it's not always to find a, a good tee on these really fast fields like this. Down to a minute and 20 left to go. Oh, yeah. He's in. What a shot by Facuno right down the middle. He drains it and doubles up Tamara on the scoreboard. 6-3 the score as we come back to center for one more throw in before the end of the half. Five goals now for Facundo. Four from the field, one from the penalty line. Okay. Umpires put the ball back into play. Going to be picked up here now by, well done, Facundo. Quick open back shot right there where it's going to be Antonio Hege trying to get to it. Hege comes in, unable to get back to it now. He's going to... It's going to be Matias Torres with control of that ball. You've got just about 10 seconds to go until the warning horn. He has to reach back and hit it one time forward. Coming in, it's going to be taken there by Mackie Wise. Mackie, pump fake. Looks to take it back to the right of Facundo. Running short on time. He's going to go way left right here to get away from Facundo, or try to. Now he'll leave the ball for Facundo and let 
Zavaleta have it. Matias Torres going to go ahead and break to the inside of those defenders. Then he'll wind up and shoot at the goal along the ground. Puts the ball over the back line wide, and that's going to end the first half. 6-3 stands the score. We'll be back in five after half here on the USPA Polo Network. This club is one of the most welcoming, friendly, but yet competitive polo clubs. We're all here for the love of the sport and the love of the lifestyle. This is the most fun you can have on a horse. We have several different levels. We play minus two to 20 goals. So if you don't have your own horse, we have club horses that you can use. The fields here are incredible. We've got three great grass facilities. And in the fall and the spring, we can play arena. We do a bunch of events during the summer. And our idea behind that is to promote polo, is to again, bring polo to the masses. Last year, we hosted the Rocky Mountain Polo Festival. Every single person that I've seen at practice in tournament is just having a great time. It's a great group of people. Everybody and anybody is welcome at the Denver Polo Club. Indulge in the art of living beautifully with the Lux Wellington Magazine. Discover the best in timelessly posh fashion, exclusive travel, world-class equestrian elegance, rejuvenating wellness, exquisite fine dining, and living the lifestyle luxuriously. From Wellington to Palm Beach, Boca to Jupiter, Lux Wellington Magazine. Historically, the biggest threat to polo fields has been urban development. And once a field is gone, it's gone forever. That's one of the reasons the USPA purchased the National Polo Center. Doing so gives polo a place to call home here in the United States. For centuries to come, generations of polo players and fans will enjoy the National Polo Center. And that's something we are proud to give back to the sport.
Welcome back to the USJ Polo Network. Getting ready to start the second half of the first game of the day here of our triple header. Let's check out the first half stats. I'm going to get some really good comments coming in here, too. I want to read out. Both teams shooting 50% from the field pilot with a lot more chances. You can see both teams very limited on the fouls. Just one goal shot penalty. Four fouls committed by Tamara to zero for pilot at the moment. Pretty shocking stat there. Otherwise, throw-ins even. Tamara, a couple more knock-ins. Again, not a lot of whistles. Pretty wide open first half. Plenty of offense and pilot with the advantage here. Certainly kind of controlled that first half a little bit more than Tamara and Facundo Pires. What can you say? He's dialed in right now. Five goals, four from the field, one from the 60-yard line, penalty four conversion. Coming out on Arani right now. Um, yeah, and actually, you know, I, but, but watch out because this Tamara team, they get real hot in the second half. And uh, we, know that, we know that this is a time that Matias Torres will start taking some chances, taking some risks, and he's got just he's, the decisions that he makes um, on the fly, you know, split-second decisions are more often than not correct, and they're right on the razor's edge, and they're winning kind of plays. He's a, I really like the way he's been playing this season, and uh, he's won some big games for this team, and I, I like the chemistry that these guys have together too. Even being a, you know, with two substitutes, um, they have good chemistry together. So I'm expecting them to kind of break out a little bit here now and give Pilot a bit more trouble. But there again, when Facundo's on, he is tough to beat, and he's definitely – Looks like he's pretty on today, and the whole team's playing well. So both teams are playing well right now, but I think we're going to see we're going to see some adjustments made here by Tamara coming out now the second half. And like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if I see Matias Torres start to take some more chances and play a little bit a riskier style of game, and uh, it could pay off for him big time. Just their second game with this lineup, so still you know kind they of learning, awesome making adjustments. Last week, yeah. Okay, Facundo brings the ball back into play, starting chucker number four here. Now he's going to go ahead and drop it back here to Antonio. That's millionaire. That's millionaire. Millionaire. That uh, Antonio is on. Millionaire. Now here comes Curtis. Curtis has really improved here too. He's been playing great. Now Santi Torres drags that ball forward. Uh, Impura here. He's on Impura. Here comes the back shot, and it's going to be. Torres back on that ball. Torres looking around. He's got Mackey behind him. He's got Zavaleta in front of him. He's going to get uh, his hand hook. Oh, hello. Okay. Let's see what happens here. Looks like they're blowing this against Torres as of right now. Right of way. Kind of going sideways in front of Mackey there. Yeah, penalty five, it looks like here from the spot for Tamara. Take another look at it quickly. It's a good call to watch. Mackie coming in behind Torres. Kind of get sideways right there. Okay, Mackie brings the ball back into play. Hits it to the left-hand side where he's going to find Zavaleta at the other end of his pass as Facundo comes in to put pressure on Zavaleta. Zavaleta goes back to the inside of Facundo. Facundo comes back in. He's looking to go ahead and release this ball over there for Mackenzie Wise, who comes in. He's got nobody on him right now. Mackie takes this one here, forcing Facundo to burn his horse up, try to catch him. Mackie flips it back around. Mackie Wise takes him wide, comes back to it on his near side. Look at this. What a play. Wise in the red zone, and Facundo with the back shot. And now it's going to be picked up here by... They tell him to turn it right here by uh, uh, Mati Zavaleta. Going to cut it at the goal right there. Doesn't connect, and it's going to be Z Zubiari here to turn the ball back to the inside. Facundo, or excuse me, Antonio took a, took a shot at him. Facundo jumps on it, stole it away, and now it's going to be a back shot here by Mackey at the goal, knocked down by Lorene. Zubiari turns it back to the inside of Facundo. Antonio can't get there either. He reaches back, keeps it going forward right here, now looking for a shot at goal. He's going to go ahead and shoot at the goal right here and sends it just wide over the back line. Ouch, got to start making these chances land here because they're get, giving, a lot, giving up a lot of opportunities here. Indeed, another knock in here for Pilot. They haven't had great success as of yet here. Yeah. Tamara doing a good job defensively shutting these knock-ins down. Good point, Cody, yeah. Facundo hits this one a little bit too straight again and, and uh, gives it right back over. But he got lucky here. He's able to jump on that loose ball, takes back off to the left. 
Now, Facundo, oh, doesn't connect. Next player to get there is going to be Mackie Wise. He'll turn it as his defender peeled off of him to go straight zone back. Now, coming in, it's going to be Antonio Hege there for the defense. Hege, open back shot to Facundo, who takes it forward on the near side. Facundo, whoop. Lorene up on the handlebars again. Now, Facundo is going to be left right here, and then it's going to be Zavaleta come and pick up that ball. Good play between him and Mackenzie Wise. Coming in, Torres will get there. He'll take it forward with him. And now it's Mackie on that ball. He calls off Palma. Mackie fires at the goal. Man, that looked close. But again, over the back line. So they're doing, like you pointed out, Cody, they're doing a really good job here of shutting down these pilot knock-ins. Yeah, they just need to start converting on some of these chances. Facundo brings the ball back into play. Facundo goes ahead and drops it there to Antonio. Oh, well done, Antonio. Got that shot off because Mati almost got there to take it. Or, uh, Zavalet, or Zubiari almost got a hold of it. Look at this. What a play. What a steal by Zubiari. Facundo looking for the whistle. What a smart play by Facundo there. After Zubiari took that chance to steal it away from him, Facundo's able to jump on the right of way instead of trying to fight for the ball. Very smart heads that play there by Facundo. Yeah, here it is again. Loreen does a good job to steal it away initially, but he has to come back across the line to get there. Or so it would appear. Mm -hmm. Umpire timeout is some information we're getting here, and it looks like they're all set. And only five from the spot. Here for Pilot. Facundo brings the ball back into play on this five. Oh my goodness, he drops that ball. Let's get it wasn't concentrating hard enough on that one. He let, lets Lorene pick up the play. Look at this. He's going to pop it up here to Palma. Palma's not going to miss. Look at this shot right here. Alejandro Palma's going to make Facundo pay for that broken play right there. What a goal. Alejandro Palma picks up the point. And they needed that one. They haven't scored since Chucker number two until right now. And the last goal that Tamara scored came off of Ali Palmas' mallet. They take advantage of this one finally. Another broken set play here from Pilot. Lorene, great dish forward. And Palma goes for the goal there. Two Kuma's on the not day. Now. Happy, huh? You see him hit the ground. All right. Ball's back into play. Going to be picked up here by Facundo. He's going to win this throw and keep it away from. Now Facundo is going to have to turn it back on right here with that two-goal ball game here. I think they might have come out of the halftime break a little bit, a little bit on the complacent side here. And now Facundo's got to turn it right back on here if he wants to keep control of this game. His shot on this fast field was going to roll right over the back line. So we'll have a knock in here for Tamara. Mackey going to bring the ball back into play. McKinsey Wise, here he goes, taps the ball back in. And that is it. Looks like Mega Espia finally here. Facundo just jumped yeah, on needed, for the first time. Yeah, to get on her because, yeah, he needs to make some something happen here. Back shot. Now here comes a big shot down the field from Matias Torres. Zavaleta back up there looking for Zabuyari, but they, tell, they call for a tail shot there. What a shot by Torres. Right back over here, picked up by Facundo Pires. Oh, man, well done. Facundo takes the hit, loses the ball. Antonio's back on it, turns it back around, flips it forward. Antonio takes off, running down the right-hand side as he's going to get away from Zavaleta. He gets called off right here by Facundo. Facundo keeps the pressure on. Now going to break past Zavaleta. Man, look at this play right here. Facundo out of the air on the bounce, going to the goal. Looking good in the zone right here. Facundo, he's in the red zone, and it's going to be saved by Mackie Wise right there. Wow. What, what a, a save. save, man. Absolutely. Antonio Hagee waiting for Zubiard to commit. Then he'll go back to it here on his offside. Comes back to it. Antonio working his way through the traffic here. Antonio Hagee reaches back, keeps it alive, back to the inside. Now going to go ahead and shoot at the, at the goal along the ground here. And it's off the off, post. No way. And still on the field, too. That was incredible. Wow. What a play. That's amazing. Now. 
Here's the next shot. Back down. And here goes Palma on a breakaway run. Being chased now by Curtis Pilot. Curtis trying to get to him. Look at these horses running. Yeah, Alejandro Palma. Can he get it done? He's right there in the red zone. He's going to score again. What a goal, Palma. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Alejandro Palma picks wow. up another one. Second goal in a row and brings his team back within one. Six, five to score. Que jugador. There's the save from Mackie Pilot. Should have scored twice down at that end. Tamara come back the other direction and Palma playing huh. great three goals leading his team and just trailing Facundo for high score of the game right now. What a finish that. from that, that shocker. Great goal there by Ali Palma. Given that, given that, that one's for you over to somebody on the sidelines there. Look at this goal. Palma, and he was cooking too the whole way through. Does not make a mistake right here. And toughest shot of the whole run right here. A little tap. Love. Ball bouncing a couple inches. What a finish. We'll be right back. This start chucking number five. We put this quick break here on the USPA Polo Network. Fort Mock uh, was really you know, built and designed to be a place where, where polo players can come and collaborate and, and join together and share in the sport of polo. Whether you're a horse trainer, a polo professional, want to play competitive polo, or, or just play practices, we offer it all the uh, so at Port Mayaka, you have sets going out in the morning, people getting their horses ready for polo, practices four days a week at 10.30 in the morning. You'll also see lots of people riding younger horses, trying to get those seasoned. You'll see people in the afternoons coming up to the pavilion, having lunch, hanging out. You have the most important ingredient, which is the fields. The fields allow you to play a certain way. It opens up the game, and they certainly have incredible fields. When you get out to Port Mayaka, you just like, Wow, this is beautiful. In South Florida, it's a horse heaven. Welcome back, everyone, to the USP Polo Network. Here we go. Check out this player feature here on Facundo that we've put together so far. High score of the contest thus far. Five goals on the day. Four from the field, one from the penalty line, playing lights out. But Tamara able to hold Pilot and Facundo scoreless in that fourth chucker. Ali Palma scored a couple himself. Facundo, he'll need to pick up the pace here in the final two chuckers because Tamara, they're on the attack right now. Mm-hmm. Little update from the D1 Women's National Intercollegiate Championship final. Toby, defending champions, Texas A&M up 2 eight, six, over UVA. Four and a half minutes remaining in the fourth, Chucker. And this is a rematch from last year's championship that Texas A&M won in a shootout over UVA. Look at this right here. It's going to be Monty Torres back on Progressiva here again. He's going to lose the play now to Torres. Torres taking it back around. I think that might be paused that that uh, that Lorene is on right here. The one he started on the first chuck, if I'm not mistaken. Now it's going to be taken here again. It is. There you go. Zavaleta breaks with this ball, trying to get something going right here. Just give it back to Palma. He'll score for you. Now it's going to be taken right there. Well done. Mackie makes the hook and leaves the ball for. They tell him to use it. He's going to go ahead and hit a nice gentle shot at the ground, along the ground, and score it. And look at this. The three goal advantage has completely evaporated. What did I say coming out of halftime? I knew we were going to see a different team right here out of this Tamara team, and that Pilot needed to watch out because they come out and they're a second half team. And look at this. We're tied back up right now. Three in a row quickly after halftime, and we've got a tie game here. Lorene, nice patience, finds a little window to hit through, and he'll pick up his first of the game. Surprisingly, just waiting for Mati Torres now to score for this Tamara team to have all four players on the score sheet. What a play there, Mati. All right, all right out of here. There we go. It's going to be 
Bakundo keeps it away, but now gives it over to, uh, let's see, good job here by Antonio Hagee. Antonio flips it back around. Looks like Diablita again yep. in the first, yeah? Did you say that already? Yep. And it's going to be picked up here. Coming back now, it is... Whoop, whoop, whoop. Horse didn't want to jump the boards there. She's like, no, thank you. Yeah, a little collision. Looks like we're going to have a right-of-way violation going against Torres. Spot hit for Tamara. Bakundo coming in to ask some questions. Let's take another look here. Yeah, I think Torres just a little nudge in the back end there. Only five. Right in front of the Mackenzie Weiss fan club as well, right there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Mackey brings it back into play. Wise winds up and fires that ball back on down towards the goal coming in. Now it's picked up here by Palma. Look at this. Palma. Palma get there. Alejandro Palma. Oh man. First chink in the armor we've seen from him all day. So a lucky, lucky break here for Pilot. All right, they're chain. No, I thought I Antonio. Think he, was just, yeah, <laughs> yeah. he was just covering for, for well, window for a they second. They need to do something a little different on these set plays because they haven't had much. I would success. love to see Facundo receive some passes from these set plays. You're right. Antonio's going to come in here. Whoa. Now Facundo. He's going to go ahead and fight off Zubiari right here. Try to Zubiari with a steal. No way. Now we get a whistle. You're going to catch him for riding in from behind, I'd imagine. Bakundo signaling to the umpires where he would like the ball play stand. <laughs> exactly. You can Suggestion. take my word for it, boys. But, yeah, no question this is going to have to go forward. Riding in from behind. Right of way violation. Riding under the swing. So penalty five from midfield. And they are going to switch this it up. time. It looks like Antonio might take the penalty five. Yeah, I think so. Like you said, they got to do something different because they haven't been working so far in either set plays. Oh, they're going to do the old. He'll bring it in, and then Facundo will follow. Then break to the left. Now he's going to go ahead. Facundo couldn't make his mind up. He wanted to go up for the pass or stay behind. He's going to go ahead and stay behind here. Drops that ball back. Oh, the horse kicks it forward, and it's going to be a great play here by Antonio Heggie. Hits a back shot over there. Facundo, what a play! This turned out to be right here. Facundo. Back down the middle, Facundo, Facundo in the red zone. Look at this. He's going to send it on through. Now that is a power pull of play right there by Pilot, and they're back on track. And it runs the, it ends the run of goals, I should say, there by Tamara after three straight. Great little drop pass from Heggie. Facundo finds it, turns the corner quickly. Couple taps out of the air for good measure. What a goal there. Six on the day now, five of which come from the field. Tamara was able to keep uh, Pilot scoreless in the fourth. And so now, ball's back into play, and here goes. Oh, no way. Mackie Wise comes in like a thief of the night, steals that ball out from underneath the mallet of Sadi Torres, and can he make him really pay for it right here? Look at this. Oh, man, he overcut it. That was so awesome, though. Really nice play there. Lucky break for Pilot Camara. They're certainly on the attack here. Those Taking chances, those chances, yep. Adding up another knock in here for Pilot. Hi, Nestor. Nestor Silva says, hola, Toby. Now here comes Hakundo. Winds up and fires this ball right down the middle there. He's going to have Antonio out in front. Antonio, sleeper cell, comes in here. He's got to step on Mackie Wise, forcing Mackie to burn his horse up, but Mackie can burn it up to, to catch him here. He's coming in hot. Antonio doesn't connect. Next player to get there is going to be two blue jerseys, and it'll be Facundo to come in and try to go for the steal on the near side. Couldn't get to it. Picked up here by Santi Torres. What a play, Torres, but did he put too much on it? Nope. He's going to be able to get right to it. Torres decides to turn this ball back around to the outside. Keeps that one away from... Zubiari now Torres he's got Facundo behind him Torres penalty one territory <laughs> Santi's like penalty one I think the and he got it are calling it pretty quickly here penalty one goal will count for pilot 
and they'll get possession back at midfield. You know, one of those hindsight plays there. I know Zubiari is calling off Palma because, you know, you want the seven goaler to have the ball, but Palma had an opportunity to back that ball and they gave Torres and Pilot a chance there. And they take advantage, steal it away, break up that play, get the ball back, draw the penalty one here. Mm. Matthew Torres will foul Facundo. Okay. Uh, pretty sure it's SBA here. We'll see. Always look for that tongue for Corcha, you know. Here comes the shot down the field. Coming in, Antonio Hagee tries to get there. Well done. Good tail shot there. Now you got it, Curtis. You got it, Curtis. Back shot. Well done, Curtis. Coming in, Facundo is there to put the pressure on, and it's going to be another back shot here. And now comes Palma. Palma takes off running. Alejandro Palma loses control of the play right here. Now going to be Torres. Santi. Going to be challenged right here. He makes the hook. He turns the ball back to the inside. Oh, stolen there by Luca Larine Zubiari, but it's given right back over here to Facundo. There's the tongue. That's Yep, that's Gorsha. <laughs> good call. Good good eye, Cody. <laughs> yep. There she is. I love how she hangs her tongue out of her mouth. It's so funny. What a horse, though. Doesn't take long. About 30 seconds, and yep. then it comes out. But, yeah, we were keeping an eye. Normally, we see Gorsha and Espia in the first half once or twice, but saving both of them here for the second half. Needed to. Good decision. I'm sure we'll see we'll, I see them both come back I in would the next imagine. chunker. Just like uh, Facundo used to do with Magnifica, you know, Mega Magnifica, whenever he needed to score a quick goal, he'd go jump on her. And that mare would play, you know, it seemed always like she'd play nine or ten minutes in a game. Yeah, I mean, he used to jump on her three, four times every game. Yeah, and, exactly. Or more. Or more, right, yeah. Sometimes it seems like he'd get on her a minute to chuck her. Mm -hmm. All right, here comes the shot. Okundo, near side, open back shot to the center here for Santi to jump on it. Torres comes in, and he's got, whoa, nicely done there. Good bump. Well done. Way to win that ride off Santi. Whoa, Zubiari coming in hot from behind. Wow. Now it'll be picked up here by Antonio Hege. Hege with that ball. He leaves it now for Facundo. Facundo. To the left. Back to the... Oh, what a steal by Palma. And then it's going to be Matias Torres taking a chance right here. And he's going to win. He's going to make that chance count for his team. Draw a whistle and a goal shot penalty is coming up here. Penalty number two for Tamara. Magundo's not happy about this call. Remember, they can challenge if they want. Let's take another look at it here. Pilot... Yeah, kind of right over top of that line, isn't he? I don't think mm -hmm. it would be a good challenge. I said he could if he wanted to. I, I didn't yeah, say perhaps, I, I think he should. <laughs> perhaps questioning ball placement. You never know yeah, what well, Facundo's three. saying there. He might three instead of a two. That makes sense. Yep, he could be inviting the umpires over for a cup of tea after the game. You never know. Penalty three here for Tamara. Their first goal shot penalty of the game here. Salis is from Nigeria. One love. Nestor Silva says, no OT today. Timothy says, Santi on fire. Toby and Cody, how about Mike Azaro at three goals? I know, that's pretty crazy. Mike got dropped to three. Outdoors. I haven't seen him play outdoors in, in, in several years, though. We did watch him play in the uh, U.S. Open Arena Champion, or the uh, Arena U.S. Open, and he was shredder there. Here comes the shot straight on through from Mackie Wise. Penalty three. He picks up the point. His third goal of the game. I think I'd take Mike at three goals. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I'd agree with you on that one, Cody. Remember earlier in the season, we saw the legendary Memo Gracita play at three goals. Yeah. And if anybody thought maybe he's getting up there in age for that kind of handicap, you were mistaken. Yes, sir. Christian Wise says... Vamos Mackie Wise. Yeah, well, Mackie's treading today. Look at the shot from Facundo. Back at the goal from right to left. Coming in, it's going to be Zubiari to put his feet on the dashboard. Santi comes in hot. Santi's going to get there on the near side. Look at this. No way. What a play by Torres. What a move that horse made right there for Lorene, though, to get back to it. Keep the ball in play. 
Didn't want to let it roll over the back line because he's only got a minute or 30 seconds left to go here in this chucker. Tries for the next shot. Doesn't connect. That could cost him. Facundo comes back to it, though. It's going to be Mackie Wise right here. Loses the play. Gets kicked over the back line for a safety. Ouch. That hurts. So we'll be back after this quick break here to start chucker number six with a safety going in favor. This is that chance one more time. Santi, what a play. Ooh, that move that horse made, huh, for Zubiari. All right, we'll be right back on the USB Polo Network. The National Polo Center, NPC, is the new and forever home for polo. With a proud history of high-level play and the finest fan experience in the game, it was only fitting that the new owners of the National Polo Center, the United States Polo Association, put the fields in a program that can be enjoyed by all levels of polo. NPC will be the epicenter of polo in North America for generations and centuries to come, and that is something we're proud of. Welcome, welcome back to the USP Pulling Network. Getting ready to start chucker number six, final chucker. We got a one goal ball game here, Cody, so we need an OT prediction from you. But before we get to that, let's check out this highlight feature we put together for Alejandro Palma, who's playing lights out here today. Well, big reason why Tamara is right in this ball game. Ali Palma, three goals all from the field, all coming up big moments of this game as well. And this next goal coming up, probably the that. biggest because Pilot just before this pass forward, had an opportunity to score twice. Yeah. Once cleared off the goal line by Mackey, and another one hit the post, I think a shot from Hagen. And ran right down the line, too. And then Tamara comes back the other way. Lorene gives the feed up to Palma. He takes it the distance. What a play, what a goal. Unbelievable. Beautiful shot right there. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here comes Facundo, penalty number six to start off this chucker. That's good. Look at that goal from Facundo. Man, undefendable down the middle. Wow, what a goal. He put that one into the canal and after it got into the stratosphere first. Beautiful goal by Facundo. Seven for him now on the day. Ice in his veins. Good way to start the chucker there, Facundo. You know, I was Cody and I were talking off air between the fifth. And, oh, yeah, wait, your OT prediction. You know, I'm, I was good. I was going to say no. I really want to see some overtime. Considering we have another game coming up at noon, I'll say yes. <laughs> there you go. I was going to say, don't ever bet against Murphy's Law, right? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so Cody and I were talking off air, and this Tamara team is super dangerous. They are the only team besides Valiente that has beat La Dolphina this year. So they are capable of absolutely winning uh, this game here today especially with only a two goal difference here. There were one goal difference before the, you know, but at the start of the game, then Facundo drained that, that 60, that, that penalty six. Here we go. Umpire puts the ball back into play and here comes Matias Torres. Zevaleta wins this play, takes off with it, turns it back to the inside right now. Mati. Now, he's going to take this one back around. Now he's going to hit a pass back over here. Picked up by Zubiari, who fires that ball back at the goal. Coming in. Here's Curtis Pilot for the defense. Pilot gets called off by Facundo. Facundo near side open back shot. And 
What a play right there. Santi riding for the foul. Doesn't find it, though. That could be a costly mistake. Whoa. Whoa. Somebody's not wrong there? Okay, yeah. There we go. It looks like Facundo back on Mega Alemana, Alemania. Yeah. In the first chucker. Second chucker. Second chucker. Thank you, Toby. Yeah. Alemania, Spanish for Germany. I did not know I that learned. until you told me that. Penalty one. Yep. So the goal will count here. Penalty one goes for Mackey. So a potential two goal swing right here for the Tamara team. This could be huge for them. Antonio back on Caballera. I believe so. And yeah, that is Twitter. Twitter and Sensacional is going to be what uh, we've got uh, Santi on right here. So he's going to he's on Twitter now. He's going to get on Sensational if he needs him. Mackie Wise. Okay, here comes the pass off to the right-hand side where he's going to find Matias Torres, Zavaleta, Mati right here. He's going to go ahead and try to get away from the man. Pulls that ball, drags it back to the left, gets away right here, coming in. The stop is made right there, and now Mackey wins the ride off against Antonio Hege. He fires a ball at the goal, but it's over the back line wide. they got to make those, those shots count, or else they could get in trouble here. A very tough shot there, but Mackey would like that one back. Miss hit a little bit over the back line. You can see both teams, 6 for 14 shooting. Just a ton of opportunities at both ends. Facundo. Over to the left, a not a great knock in here, but it's going to be good enough to get back over to Antonio. He's able to get that ball back under control. Takes off with it here. Being pursued by Zubiari. Now, look at this. What a play right here. Antonio Hege takes it back to the right, to the center, gets away from the man, cuts it forward on the near side, coming back to it. He's able gets wow, well done. Uh, Santi calls him off. Santi, oh, my goodness. If you're going to call him off, you can't give it back away. Torres right here. Then Palma. Now it's going to be Zubiari trying to help out with Zavaleta. Now it's picked up here by, well done. Good play here by Santi Torres. Hits it right back over here to Antonio Hege. Hege in the red zone. And here comes Santi to fire it on through and pick up the point. Woo well done, Santi Torres. Making up for calling him off before. You're relentless on the attack here. Torres will get it done. His second goal of the game. Good little give and go initially here with Hege. Watch this. Nice little neck shot pass. Third goal, excuse me, for, yeah, got a penalty for one Santi. Too. That's absolutely right. Beautiful goal. All right. That was it. Wait, yeah, that was a penalty one right there, too. Okay, coming in. Facundo. Yeah, yeah. Keeps that one away. Gives it back over here to Antonio. Hege, what's he going to do here? He's going to wait for some help from Facundo. Burn up valuable time. Gets it stolen, though, by Zubiari. Larine. Zubiari gets out of there with that ball. Takes off. Larine. Now, horse kicks it back, and it's going to be picked up here by Matias Torres. Zavaleta. Now, let's see here. Matias Torres. Cody, re refresh my memory here on what happens if... If the, what are the implications for Tamara if they if they are able to end up winning this game? If Tamara wins, they'll go to a shootout. They will go out to a shootout. That's what I thought. Okay. Ooh, Facundo comes in, steals it away right here as it's going to be picked up now by Antonio Hege. Now they're starting to fire on all cylinders here, this pilot team. Antonio will keep it with him as he gets away from the man. Hits it a little too far. No, he hits it just fine. Back to the inside right here of uh, Matias Torres now picked up again here by Mackie Wise who takes off running. Two goal ball game right now with 321 left to go on the clock. Mackie really needs to score right here. He's going to go ahead and pound this one forward right there as it's going to be Mackie trying to get out of there. Well done. Good play there by Curtis Pilot to make the back shot. Picked up here. Back to the inside by Zubiari. Loreen fires at the goal and it's knocked down and it's going to be... Oh, well done, Matias. Did he hit it too far? He sure did. Oh, man. He kept it in play. Picked up right here by... McKenzie Wise, Mackie fires, and we're back to a one-goal ball game. Look at that. 
Wow, what a game this is turning out to be. Fourth of the contest for Weiss. Mackey keeping things close here. Gonna come right down to the wire in this one. Two and a half minutes remain, one goal game. Horses Sancti stumbled there, yeah. Went up on the handlebars there. Zavaleta keeps it in play. Mackey takes advantage. Beautiful goal there by Wise. Ball's put back into play right now. Antonio Hege gets taken out by Zavaleta with the near side open back shot. And Facundo will come back to it. Facundo. Corcha once again. Facundo holds the ball, looking for a place to go here. Facundo, now he sees it. Mati doesn't. Now Facundo is going to go ahead and fire the ball back downward at the two-minute mark right here. Lorene couldn't keep it under control. Coming in now. It's going to be picked up there. Maybe not. Now, forward by, Mac, uh, by uh, Matias Torres, and we get a safety. Tough break there for M Matias Torres at Zavaleta. All right. We've seen Facundo score once from a penalty six in this game. In this chucker. Yeah, just at the start to chucker. Very start, beginning of the chucker, yes, sir. Okay. While we're waiting for him to tee that ball up, let's see. Michelle Vogel says, can't believe we are nearing the end of the gauntlet. We'll miss you guys. Thanks for another great game. Well, thank you, Michelle. We appreciate you tuning in, being loyal fan here of the USPA Polo Network. I thought that looked familiar. Facundo passed Exclusiva to Torres that last chucker. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then, yeah, he knows at this point. Got to get all those guys mounted up as best as best they can. Here comes Facundo. Azarenka again here. Yep. Fires at the goal. Man, it oh, curved right shot. in. What a goal. Facundo almost took out the cameraman back there, too. They needed that one big time. What a shot. Two for two. Now he jumps off of her. From the penalty six line. Facundo just jumped off Ezra after making the penalty goal right here. He goes and jumps off. Gets onto another one. Here comes. Let's see. That's Facundo. All right, two-goal ball game, 119 left to go on the clock. they got to score right now on this drive. Facundo wins this throw and gets out of there with it like this. He's going to win the game. Uh-oh, that might cost him now because Lorene jumps back on it. Zubiari cuts it back around. Zubiari, they might need a little help here from the umpires too if they're going to be able to get this done. Here comes a shot from Zubiari. It's down the right-hand side. It's, everything has to go right for Tamara at this point for them to be able to win this game. They cannot really afford a mistake at all. Here comes a back shot from Antonio Hege over the back line. Burning up valuable time. Remember, if the 30-second bell goes before they can score one goal, that's going to end the game. So that's why they need a Mackey quick one. has to fire right here with 38 seconds. Oh, gets knocked down outside that two horse length. Now it's going to be wise. They're burning up too much time. That's it. That's it. That's game. It's all but over right now, and it looks like Pilot yeah, is going to take the win. Yeah, you can see Facundo just... Chilling. Knows he just don't foul. Let the time expire here. Even let him have the said, goal right here. Score. Or not. Just go ahead and take it out of there, too. That'll work, too. <laughs> so, you know what that means, Toby? Pilot secures their spot in the semifinals with the win here. They go to 3-1. and one. They'll join Rodolfina Valiente. There's still one more spot up for grabs, and it all comes down to our next game. Well, our next. Our 4 p.m. game. Open game at yeah. 4 p.m. Park Place, Rodolfina. All right. Yeah, we got to we got to sorry. We're going to have to cut up uh, right now on this one because we got to get set up for our next game, the finals of the 16 goal uh, championship. So for Cody Off and I'm Toby Wayman. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll catch you in about half an hour for that uh, 16 goal uh, championship final. <laughs>